Most think it's just part of the rugged cowboy way of life. Rough prairie, hard saddles, and boots that pinch and bind. Seems like forever, cowboys have suffered from bad fitting boots for no reason. That's right, cowboy boots were invented for comfort. Yeah, comfort. Soft skins, supportive soles, but to feel good, they've got to fit right. Daddy Joe Justin, the father of cowboy boots, was the best at hand-fitting boots, and he taught his daughter, Miss Enid, all about boot making. When Daddy Joe died, Miss Enid was determined to maintain his tradition. So with little money and less support, she opened her own boot company in 1925 in Nakona, and Nakona Boots became the first woman-owned boot factory in history. It was a tough business, tougher yet for a woman, but Miss Enid succeeded by making quality boots that fit so comfortably, they became known as the boots you won't want to take off. So why are so many people still wearing boots that hurt their feet? Well, two reasons, really. First, most stores don't carry a wide selection of sizes and widths in the styles, leathers, and finishes customers want. So they end up buying the wrong size and try to break them in. Second, a lot of customers ask for the wrong size. See, they've been wearing the wrong size for years. They've grown up thinking back, leg, and foot pain is just part of being a cowboy. Yeah, it's a painful cycle. But we can stop it with the right fit. A boot has to hug the foot to keep from sliding around. You see, the foot is like the hand. If you squeeze the hand behind the knuckles, there's no pain. So a boot can hug here at the instep, behind the ball area, without pain. But squeeze here and... A snug fit here holds the foot firm and supports the arch. Now notice when you squeeze the foot, the bones move forward. That's why when a boot fits here, you'll need more length here. You see, when it comes to width, a 9D can equal a 10B or an 11AA, but we'll get to that later. Now let's fit the boot. First, the customer stands on the brannock. Measure the length of the foot, the arch length, and the width. Next, with the ball of the foot in the arch cup, slide the width bar firmly along the side of the foot and drop straight down to find the width. Now, here's the tricky part. This customer came in wearing a 10D. His length measured 11 and a half, and since from our width discussion, we know a 10D equals an 11 and a half A. That's our starting point. Now let's review. First, measure the arch length with the brannock. Be sure to center the ball of the foot in the ball cup. Then measure the width by sliding the width bar snugly against the foot. But remember, fitting boots is a skill. You should try a few other sizes to be sure. Now feel the ball of the foot. It should be on the widest part of the sole. The arch should line up with the shank. You need a snug fit across the instep, no binding or cramping. The toe should lie flat and move freely. Now, with wear, the instep will conform to the foot, but because of Nakona's channel insole, the boots won't get loose or sloppy. With boots on, have your customer walk around. Ask them how the boot feels. If they're happy, you're ready to order. Nakona has more sizes, widths, toe and heel combinations and skins. It's like designing your own boot. In fact, the biggest difference between Nakona boots and custom-made boots is the price and watch America's Highways for Nakona's Red Hot Roadshow and Fit Extravaganza, bringing every size and style Nakona makes to your hometown. With Nakona, there's no reason that every cowboy can't have great fitting boots. Who knows, it may just change their tune.